Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and I'm bringing you Slayer Legend with a farming setup for beginners. So if you Slayer Legend player or perhaps idle gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see then hit that like button as well. Alright then guys, so I want to share with you obviously where I currently sit and I believe I have found a pretty good strategy when it comes to just starting out and taking advantage of a certain aspects of the game and having a good, good setup to kill as fast monsters as possible. So obviously I'm going to review um, aspects of the game and I'll share with you my thinking behind it. So hopefully if you enjoyed, obviously you can go ahead and copy everything I have done. Right then, so we're gonna kick off with a first up character. So when it comes to a stars allocation, I have followed a main quest, obviously, which is on the screen. That will give you additional uh, diamonds, the premium currency, so you should always encourage yourself to go ahead with that. When it comes to a certain aspects of every strategy with the game, go ahead and max this crit as soon as you can. Again, this is another game where you can have a 100% crit rate, obviously top it up some damage, and then shortly after you will release yourself a death strike. Death strike is basically a harder cri hitting critical, so this is something you want to get your hands on as soon as possible. When it comes to obviously what you see on the screen, the red numbers is the ordinary crit, whilst the blue is that death strike, and this is hitting much much harder than the normal one. When it comes to a growth, I have pretty much skipped all the stats and went directly to pretty much extra gold output. Especially within first few days of the games, I usually tend to go for extra experience or gold just to take that slight advantage and obviously see how much we can squeeze out of this ordinary currency. And that's where I'm going, as you see, level 915, not far off from level 1000. When it comes to promotion, obviously come and check it every single time. Currently I managed to squeeze silver, I just got gold to unlock. Obviously we've got other stuff here as well, which I'll probably share with you uh, in a different videos. Don't want to make it too long. Obviously we've got a few different concepts of the game that we'll address in a separate video. But this should be just a basic stuff, which you're gonna come and check daily. So now when it comes to skills, this is going to be one of the main strategies that you want to implement. So currently, as it stands, I have unlocked a total of 7 skills. When it comes to use of mana, it's not as bad. As you see, I'm pretty much getting drained all the time. But I know with this extra cooldown of the skills itself, this pretty much I'm in that sweet spot where I just got just enough mana to keep casting skill after skill. And basically for this farming strategy, you want to go either with a secondary or a third row in here. And we're talking in between ice and lighting skills. And these skills always will have a ability to hit multiple enemies, therefore you want to combine these two. So obviously as I have now unlocked quite a lot of uh, late game skills, um, you want to go for these heavy hitters. I have also gone here with meditation, as you see this will give you additional cooldown for all skills, so it's great, great uh, skill to have, means you're gonna cast these obviously damage deal skills even more often. At the same time I have not enhanced any of the skills yet, I still want to unlock and then see where I can invest this premium currency. So currently as it stands, as you see I've got Ice Time, I've got Thunderbolt Slash, then we go in with Thunder Slash itself, Water Slash and Ice Shower following with Lighting Stroke. Bear in mind, if you struggle at any given point with mana, you should consider a Mana Blessing and there is also a one more which is Life Mana, you've got a chance as well for extra recovery here. So these skills will be definitely great to select. Again, if you feel your mana is being drained too quick, you can also go ahead and use one of these passive, I used it for a while as well. This is additional a attack speed, which will then compensate to a lack of as high damage with a normal attack. So this is as well great something to a fill-in slot in case you're running out of mana. So then with equipment is obviously, um, this is as far as you're gonna get. I would definitely try to summon between weapon, accessories and relic itself. Um, and currently as I am, I'm pretty much having this a top grade legendary. Same when it comes to accessory and I have managed to squeeze few levels of relics. Right, and then going into a companion, obviously once you have played the game at least for a couple of days, you should have unlocked all the companions. And again, when it comes to info itself, 
you got all the passive um, bonuses from these guys so I would definitely go with as much offense as possible especially if you're just starting out so hence you see there's quite a lot of levels into extra attack and accuracy then we go in with a secondary uh, character and I'm going here with critical damage as well as additional attack sum HP I increase obviously when I have just started out then you go in here with as much gold as possible again bear in mind you'll be unlocking these skills nice and slowly so uh, you will have to go and obviously um, add some of the stats earlier on but once you unlock the gold definitely encourage you to invest in here and then finally um, you want to have has heavy investment in that mana so especially if you're just starting out you might be struggling with um, keeping up with your mana against the skills you're using but the moment you're gonna have that luna and all these skills at a nice level you will see that it's gonna be much easier to start controlling your mana output and then you can allocate actually more and more active skills to deal that damage at all times so that pretty much will be it guys obviously this is just a starting point i will definitely release few more videos related to a specific content of this very title um, and i hope what you have seen today help you grow faster so that will be it thank you very much guys for watching and as always i'll see you next time